Today I'll be showing you the most requested features in Rec Room as well as show you proof as to why some of them might come to the game soon. So first up we got a new quest Rec Room original. Right now we only have 5 quests and it's been that way since 2018 so people have really been wanting a new quest for quite a while. And unfortunately it doesn't seem like this will happen anytime soon since they're mainly working on other stuff right now like Rec Room Studio but hopefully someday a new quest will be added to the game. Next we got the Caution Mug. This one's very divided. You either love the idea or absolutely despise it. It's kind of a meme at this point. That being said Rec Room have confirmed that it will be released sometime this year so if you like it and I guess you have something to look forward to. Alright, so next up we got Rec Royale 2. If you don't already know, there was supposed to be a season 2 of Rec Royale in 2021. And two years later, we still don't have it. Rec Room have said that they probably won't do season 2 of Rec Royale, but instead they would just remake Rec Royale and turn it into Rec Royale 2. So think of it like Fortnite Chapter 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. That being said, Rec Room have also stated that they aren't working on already released Rec Room originals at the moment, so it'll probably be a while before we ever get Rec Royale 2. The same can also be said for adding new maps to the other Rec Room originals like Laser Tag and Rec Rally. These two are probably the most requested, and these two Rec Room originals have the least maps when they should have way more, but like I said, Rec Room have stated that they're not focusing on adding new things to the already released Rec Room originals, so yeah. Next we got Full Body Avatar. This one was also pretty divided since one, people thought that it would probably look really weird, and two, we've had the same avatars for almost seven years now so it seemed very unlikely that reckon would ever add this until they released a blog post confirming that it'll be added soon along with concept art which you've been looking at so I mean, yeah. <laughs> Next up, we got watch skins. This is also pretty divided, mainly because people are worried that it'll remove the feature where the watch would change colors depending on the party that you're in. Which, to be honest, I don't get. They can just make the watch skin change colors depending on the color that your party is. For example, if you have a galaxy watch skin or something, the color will change depending on the party that you're in. But it'll still look like a galaxy. It'll just be like a yellow galaxy or something. I don't know. And in AMAs, Rec Room have sounded interested in adding watch skins. So who knows? Maybe they'll get added someday. Next up, we got pets. This is probably the most requested feature in rec room and for good reason i mean honestly imagine being at a rec center and a dog is following you around it would be very cute and rec room staff have also showed that they love the idea and even set themselves to not be surprised if pets were added one day next we got more ugc items like ugc hats and glasses and stuff like that if you don't know what ugc means it means user generated content we already have ugc shirts so it's definitely a possibility for other ugc items to be added one day then we got trading and gifting items that you already own now this one's also pretty divided since if you're able to gift items that you already own or trade items that you own then it's most likely just going to create a whole community of people trying to scam little kids for rare items like in roblox adopt me which stinks for everyone so i don't think rec room is interested in adding this but i could be wrong anyway that's all the requested features that i'm going to be talking about today if you liked this video please make sure to like subscribe and comment what features you want added into rec room with that i'll see y'all later